You know, people say, I'll see it when I believe it. No, that's not what they say. I'll believe it when I see it. That's what they say. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I suppose that's true in some circumstances. But if you truly want something in your life, if you truly have a goal that you're pursuing, a project, a to do, I call it a to do list for life. If there's a project you want to achieve in your life, and sometimes I hear people talk about goals, and you know, well, I tried goals, I didn't, they don't work for me, or I don't like that word, so, but they talk about projects. I have projects I'm trying to accomplish in my life. I have projects I'm working on. My, anyway, if you have a project, if you have this goal that you want to achieve, or this idea you want to achieve or accomplish in your life, so many people say, well, I'll believe it when I see it. It actually works the other way around. If you want to see it happen, you have to believe it first. You have to believe that you believe that it <clears throat> that it will happen. So believing is seeing. If you settle for who you think you are, you'll never reach your potential. And so it starts with belief. If, if, if you just settle for who you think you are and where you are today, you're going to drift aimlessly in your life. You're going to, you'll end up giving up on your goals and your dreams and the things that you want for you and your family. But you don't have to settle for the life that you think that you're going to have. You need to be able to, yes, see it so that you can have it. And the biggest part of seeing it is believing that you can have it, believing that you're going to get what you want in your life. So start by believing that the best in your life is yet to come. In the past, it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what's going on today. Where do you want to go? You need to believe that the best is yet to come and see it. Once you believe that you can have it, you'll start to see that you really want so yes seeing is believing but believing is also seeing you need to see your future we're gonna talk about kind of getting there and seeing it and seeing it today and and having this vision and belief seeing you have to see what the future is as you want you have to be able to picture it you have to have a vision of the future that you really want picture it in your mind write, write it draw it Cut pictures out of magazines, create a vision board, whatever works for you. You need to see your future as if who you are becoming, not who you are. Who do you want to be, not what are you today? Because what you are today doesn't have to be who you are tomorrow because you can change. You can grow. You need to be able, in this vision, you need to be able to see who you want to be and what you want to do and what you want to have in your life. You need to see it. You need to feel it. What does it feel like to be this person? What does it feel like to have reached this goal that you are seeing in your mind? What does it sound like around you? Is it you're sitting on a beach and the waves are crashing in? Are you in the mountains and it's totally peaceful and with a few birds? What is it for you? Taste it. Are you enjoying some wonderful food on an island somewhere? Are you having a great time with friends because you can spend so much time together now? What is it for you? Create a picture of the image that you want for your life, for your career, and hold it firmly in your mind. Don't let it go. And then next you need to focus on what you can do. So once you see what you want to have in your life, focus on what you can do. So many people don't focus on what they can do, they focus on what they can't do. Everyone has potential to do more, to do better, to do greater things. Focus on getting what you want, not on the problems that you may have today because those don't have to be around tomorrow. And with this vision that you have, now that you can see it, now you can believe in the person that you are becoming in order to have it. If you picture yourself having it and believe that you can, believe in yourself 
being the person who can become that person. Because that's your destination. That's what you want in your life. That's where you want to be. And hang on to that picture. Because it's the vision of who we want to become that drives us forward. If our vision is that we're going to be poor and broke and have relationship problems all of our life, that's exactly what you're going to get because that's the vision that you have. What you have today in your life, good, bad, ugly, whatever it is, whatever you have today in your life, whoever you are today, whatever you are today is because of the visions you've had about your life in the past and the beliefs that you've had about that and about you. And so if those beliefs and that vision can get you to where you are today, good, bad, or ugly, you can change that and get to where you want to be in the future. It works the same way. You don't have to continue to live in the life you're in today. The next thing you need to do, stick it out. It's not going to happen overnight. You need to focus, yes, focus on where you're going. Don't focus on other people. Don't focus on their beliefs about themselves. Don't focus on their beliefs about you. So many times we get hung up on what people think about us and we're concerned about what pe how people feel about us. Don't focus on that. The limitations that you think you have today are only limitations from the past. A lot of them are only up here. Things you tell yourself. Yes, you may have some physical limitations, but a lot of those can be overcome because a lot of those still live up here. When it gets hard, you got to stick it out. Nobody said life is going to be easy. Nobody said climbing a mountain was easy. If you want to reach the top of a mountain, you have to stick it out. You have to keep going. No matter if you come across a steep rocky ledge or whatever or you know a big grove of trees and how are you going to get through it it doesn't matter you have to stick it out even in the hard times if it's what you really want and the way you do that yeah you take action every single day you move forward every single day create momentum it's like riding a bicycle a bicycle is a piece of metal and rubber that really is no good until it's moving forward. Yeah, you might be able to balance a little bit if you're really good sitting still. It's really, really hard. It takes a lot of practice. But a bicycle is useful and balanced only when it's moving forward. You may be trying to maintain balance in your life by sitting still. You can't do it on a bicycle and you can't do it in your life because if you just sit still, everything starts to attack you. You're not moving forward. And it's so hard to live a balanced life when you're sitting still with no place to go. So remember the bicycle. A bicycle is best used when it's moving forward and it's balanced moving forward. So go towards your destination. What is it you want? I'd really like for you to tell me in the comments, what do you want? Because once you write it down, it becomes real. You may have it in your head and you think about what you want, but until you write it down, whether you type it in the little phone or write it on a piece of paper, that's when it becomes real. Go towards that. And then live it. Your thoughts, the beliefs that you have, the actions that you take will all lead you to become who you want to be, what you want to be, and it will lead you toward that vision that you have, the vision of what you see of yourself, what you see for yourself. You have to change your thinking, you have to change your belief, and you have to take action because those will guide you to become who and what you see in that vision. I want you to become it. I want you to be it. That's your, that's your goal for today. Let's say that's your goal for today. Create a vision of who and what you want in your life. Believe that you can have it. 
see it firmly in your head in all of its detail. Write it down. Please write it down. Believe you can have it. Take action today to get there and then live it every day. Be that person today. Even though you're not that person that you see in your vision, be that person. Start being that person. It's that simple. It's not easy. No, it's not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. So I hope you have a great day. This is Mark Schinner from The Porch with your Friday Focus. Have a great day. Have a great Friday. And I'll be back to talk to you tomorrow.